नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान ओम पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन कृतिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायि मनुसंदधा भगवदीतेषि भगवदगीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एनलाइटनमेंट टू अर्जुन एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ गॉडेस shower of the nectar like knowledge of non dualism and contained in your 18 chapters o oh, my affectionate mother the destroyer of rebirth i meditate upon krishna vandana vasudeva <clears throat> sutam devam kancha chanura mardanam devakim paramanandam krishnam vande jagat son of vasudeva Slayer of Kansa and Chanu, extreme delight for Mother Devaki, O oh Lord Krishna, the supreme teacher of the universe. My salutations to you. <clears throat> so today we will take up a reading of the eleventh shloka of the fourth adhyaya, Nyan Karma Sanyasa Yoga. And Sri Krishna is uh, continuing his advice, his teaching uh, to Arjuna. as regards uh, ha 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 is it that uh, uh, how uh, uh, different people with all different objectives in their mind hmm, they they pray to me and according to the way they pray to me i give them whatever way they have prayed it, it i mean the lord has to give uh, Return, return gift to all his devotees with whatever intention they uh, worship Lord. They ask uh, from the Lord whatever things they ask. So Lord Krishna now says, "Ye yatha maam prapadyante anstatayva bhajam yaham mama vartva nu vartante manushya artha sarvasha." ये यथा माम पद्यन्ते ये यथा द वे ये इज यू हुसोएवर यथा इन व्हाट एवर फॉर्म माम प्रपद्यन्ते प्रपद्यन्ते इज दे अप्रोच मी दे अह ए टू मी माम प्रपद्यन्ते मी इन व्हाट एवर वे दे अप्रोच मी व्हाट एवर वे दे प्रे टू मी व्हाट एवर वे दे speak to me they beg me whatever hmm am thaiva bhajami ham tanis them thaiva tatha eva so also in the same way the way whichever way people approach me in the same way i reciprocate hmm bhajami ham i reward them bhaja jami is reward i reward them i give them the return gifts the way they have asked me whatever they ask i immediately i return their gifts with the intention with which they have asked in the same manner there is no partiality if they ask whole heartedly with all purity with all devotion i am very pleased to give them what they seek if they ask if they approach me with some evil intent then also i have to give them i cannot say no to my children whether good or bad they are my children if they ask me with some bad intention then i also return their requests i also return their prayers in the same way that they have asked if they have asked harm somebody i keep them i keep them harm to themselves so that is the give and take of lord uh, is absolutely impartial 
चिवर्वे यथा प्रपद्यंते माम द वे दे अप्रोच मी ताम तथैव भजामी हम आय रेसिप्रोकेट देयर पीडिंग्स आय रेसिप्रोकेट देयर बेगिंग आय रेसिप्रोकेट देयर अप्रोचिंग मी इन द सेम वे दे हैव आस्क मम वर्तमानु वर्तन्ते मम इज माय वर्तम पाथ अनुवर्तन्ते मनुष्याः मनुष्याः इज मेन बट मेन इज नॉट एक्चुअली द मेन एज सच बट इवन पीपल मेन एंड वुमेन बोथ इंक्लूडेड सो पीपल दे अनुवर्तन्ते मम वर्तम दे फॉलो पीपल फॉलो माय पाथ सर्वशः इन ऑल वेज in all the ways positive ways negative ways they approach me o partha o arjuna o son of partha that is how shri krishna is telling this is an extension of uh, what uh, he had told about the good qualities of attaining the the, the lord's blessings by giving up raga bhaya tesha क्रोध बाय गिविंग अप अटैचमेंट फियर एंड एंगर व्हेन पीपल टेक रिफ्यूज इन मी दे गेट ऑल द गुड थिंग्स बट वर्ल्ड इज नॉट फिल्ड विथ ओनली सच पीपल दैट श्री कृष्णा इज नाउ टेलिंग दिस 11th चैप्टर 11th श्लोक ऑफ द फोर्थ अध्याय इट इज नॉट दैट वर्ल्ड इज फिल्ड विथ ऑल द गुड पीपल अदरवाइज देयर इज नो नीड फॉर लॉर्ड टू Uh, take uh, uh, incarnation that to to take become a, a, a from formless entity we take a form and be born as incarnation because there are both good and evil all the time and when evil goes up then lord has to take some action then he comes down and then what shri krishna says the way way people approach me i reciprocate their begins their prayers i don't leave anyone's prayers unanswered answering the prayer is my duty i am their lord i am the lord of beings so that what that's what he had told us he is the lord of all beings so he has to address their petitions and the way with the intention with which people approach the lord god she procreates their pleadings accordingly and that shri krishna says people through all the ways good bad not so good not so bad they approach me they find their own path fine according to that i treat my followers in whatever way men identify with me men approach me in the same way do i carry out their desires in the same way i reciprocate their prayers main pursue my path o partha in all different ways so that is what shri krishna is telling the best way of course he has narrated us he has narrated in the previous shloka of getting rid of attachment and anger and uh, uh, fear but people adopt to so many other paths somehow they want to reach me and they keep on praying to me with whatever whatever intention they pray to me accordingly i give it back to them now different kinds of food suit different beings what is food to one may be poison to another but each being receives nourishment from the food it takes like some some uh, animals they are capable of uh, you know eating and digesting the poisonous animals also we cannot do that that poison will just spoil our system and maybe i mean it will even kill us so we have to have nutritious food some animals they don't even bother what is there they just whatever comes their way they eat it they have so powerful digestive systems they can even digest the poison religions are similarly divergent to suit the varying temperaments 
all religions all religions are yes they are all leading towards the one reality no doubt about it but some people may feel very comfortable doing the idol worshiping some people may not feel so it is not that the person who is doing idol worshiping is bad or he is not going to get results he is also going to get results the person who doesn't believe in idol worshiping also is he is following his path let him follow his path he will also reach the end of the journey when they all meet together they will say oh my god i took this path still i reached here this fellow taking that path till he reached there so all the paths lead to the one destination and sri rao sri krishna says that people sought to so many different paths and ways but they are all reaching me ultimately <clears throat> worship with the aid of an image for example is a help to one and hindrance to another an act held as adoration of the almighty by one part is abhorred blasphemy by another like the idol worshiping is not uh, uh, you know taken uh, accepted by by so many other religions fine even in the fold of hinduism advaitis they don't follow uh, they don't the believe in uh, the idol worshiping for them achitananda is the only reality but they don't say that deities are wrong no they don't say the idol worshipers the image worshipers those who have uh, reverence for the chosen ideal they are wrong no not at all it is a path they have taken it is a path deities have taken So accordingly, according to one's own, according to one's own liking and whatever whatever suits, we all take birth in the religions that is going to suit us. And no other religion is bad. So we are all approaching the same truth, following different. It is incumbent on the aspirant to see into this universalism of the Lord, and therefore Sri Ram, uh, Sri Krishna says that manusya sarvasya vartante vartma mama vartma my path. People follow take so many different routes. People have chosen so many different paths to reach me. the same reality presents itself as nature when contacted through the senses mind and intellect therefore the sense bound pleasure seekers are also adoring the same now somebody is actually seeking something very sensual in reality although the act may feel like uh, you know disgusting but in reality what is happening that person is looking for the divine in that sensuality it may yes for 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 uh, 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 and uh, a general outlook it is a very disgusting thing to do but even that is created by the lord himself that delusion also is created by the lord himself so surrender to the lord and get rid of that delusion reality in accordance with their understanding in attainments all beings are verily resting in god and enjoying him him only while their readings and interpretations of him vary infinitely as many faiths so many paths sri ramakrishna has said that we all take up certain paths although outwardly we may feel that that person is doing a very wrong thing he might also be in fact doing a wrong thing immoral thing unethical thing but a moment will come when he will realize it was wrong it was not intended it was it was it was not what he was supposed to do and then then comes the moment of that repentance and when he repents totally new path opens up for him 
and then he realizes okay whatever i was doing all the bad karmas so to say that i have been doing they only have given me this they have shown me this new path that i am going to follow now so shri krishna says that people may act any way they want people may approach me any way they want any way they wish and i always reciprocate the way they approach me if they approach me with a good intention good is allotted to them they approach me with a bad intention bad gets allotted to them but i don't leave anyone's prayers unanswered prayers are always answered they may realize it or not it is up to them whether the prayer is answered or not it is them to understand it is for people to understand lord god always answers the prayers god never leaves any prayers unanswered there is no backlog of prayers to be answered in the account books of lord pray god gives and that's it all the credit debit balance is uh, nullified there itself the whole statement the whole statement is reconciled there is no backlog there is no leftover thing and finally shri krishna says that yes they approach me in so many ways not knowing that all the ways are leading to me only so that is shri krishna's teaching in this uh, 11th uh, shloka diverse means to the same end as many faith so many paths teaching of shri ramakrishna om namo bhagavate vasudevaya shri krishna arpanamastu जय श्री राम कृष्ण जय ठाकुर जय मां जय स्वामी